Hey everybody, Jeremiah Craig here, and it is show day. That's right, I am on my way to the Union Brew House, and this is my first show since the Rusty Crowbars disbanded. So, let's get into it. First, I wanna say, just check out this shirt. Check out this shirt. So my wife was at Marshall's, I don't know, over the weekend. And she's like, hey, you want this shirt? She didn't even think that I was gonna say yes. But I was like, hell yeah, I want that shirt. Of course I want that shirt. Look at it. It's like flowery and I like the colors because I just knew that it would go so well with my cognac and honey colored boots. I mean, the BNV and the Stetsons were just, oh, it's like this shirt was just made for it. I mean, check it out. Check out what this shirt looks like with my BNV specials. Right, right? That's what I'm talking about. Gotta love these BNV water buffaloes. So this show is the result of me going to the open mic night that you probably saw in the Ranch Road giveaway video. Now, I went to that open mic night and I met Jay, the guy who runs it, and a few days later he hit me up and said, hey, we have this opening on this Songwriters in the Round show. Do you wanna jump on and play? And I said, of course I wanna jump on and play. That is the huge value of going to open mic nights for those of you out there who are musicians. It expands your network and opens you up to play more shows. So let's get down there, I can't wait. All right, ran into a little bit of a slowdown here on the way to the show, but it is rush hour, so no surprise. I think I wanna take this time to explain how I get Boots to do reviews. I've seen a couple of comments come through asking, hey Jeremiah, do you buy those boots? How do you review so many cowboy boots? I haven't bought a pair of new cowboy boots in about a year and a half, I don't think. And that's because companies send me the cowboy boots so that I will do videos on them because they wanna reach you. They don't pay me a lot of the time, and if they do pay me, I say so in the video. So Ariet has paid me a couple of times. And then a lot of people ask me how they can get companies to send them boots too. So what it comes down to is just making as much content as humanly possible. So just start making a bunch of videos about your cowboy boots, about your experience with cowboy boots, and just your joy of it, whether it be like informational, educational, um, whatever it is, if you wanna make it more entertainment, I like to do all types of videos. And then as you get more and more subscribers, you will get more and more attention from these bigger brands. It's not for everybody, because it does take a lot of work, and to be honest, it's probably worth more to just put in a few extra hours at work and then go buy a new pair of cowboy boots. Really, it comes down to the fact that I want you to hear my music. So that is the reason why I'm making so many videos so frequently is because I'm a songwriter, I am a performer, I've been doing this for about 10 years or more solo, longer than that with bands, and that is the whole reason why I make content to begin with. So if you wanna get into making content for the pure fact that you might get cowboy boots from some companies, I would say don't get into it because it's not worth it. It's totally worth just getting an extra job or putting in a few extra hours at work and buying your own pair. Unless you have you know, something else that you wanna push, that you wanna promote. Like That's why I put in my songs at the end of each video so that everybody knows that I am a musician and that I have my own music on Spotify. So that's really the story when it comes down to it. So that's why companies send me cowboy boots. I haven't bought a pair of cowboy boots new in like two years or so. So I hope that answers some questions and if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. 
because you guys are the best. All right, so we're here. If you're not familiar what a songwriters in the round is, you have about three songwriters on stage and then each one takes a turn playing one of their songs. And then you go around in a circle and I think tonight each songwriter is playing four songs each and there are three rounds. I'm in the last round. It's not a competition or anything. It's just songwriters in the round. So I got the last round, four songs, taking turns. It's going to be a fun night. Do you have any fears, like when you're watching movies, like those type of movies, you gotta like look away? Uh, well, what kind of movies are we talking like about? Like horror movies. Oh, okay. Like psychological or physical? Either or. Yes. What is it? Uh, being killed. Oh, that's yeah, a that's good a one. Big, that's a big one. For me, it's yep. like, for me, it's losing a finger. So every time somebody like gets their finger chopped off or it's Oh my God, that something. should be one of my, that's my second, this should be my first. Right? It's yeah. Just, ooh, I can't handle it. No, like one finger or? Yeah, one or all. So the whole like, hand must really stress you out. Yeah, really, yeah. Yeah, real. I mean, that would be really rough. Yeah. Yeah, but they make good prosthetics now. I don't know, it wouldn't be the same. Like, of course it wouldn't be the same, but at least better than, like, 1940. Right. I'm just saying, Jeremiah. Silver lining. That's I was thinking about that fear. So is this about, is this song about losing a finger? This song is about a guy who takes fingers. You're stabbed. This, uh, this is a this song, I was doing some therapy writing one day and I was trying to get over this little fear of mine. Yeah, you might want to be in therapy, but just Yeah, I know, right? I so, <laughs> I uh, made up this character who's a loan shark. He likes cigars, right? Okay. So his favorite favorite cigar company is uh, Romeo e Giulietas. I was gonna say that, that was my first guess. It was, yeah, I mean, what other guess is that? Classic. So, but he has two cigar cutters. One, of course, for the cigars. And the other one for us. Yeah. So this is called one for my Romeo and Julietas. Is your wife here? No, she's not here. Um, <laughs> I'm familiar with your kind, my friend, and it's unlikely you have a respectable end but me. I'm a businessman, and I know life like this cigar in my hand. Too many people don't know if you cut it too high, it will unravel and leave you dry. I keep one for my room, it go way to the excise, the other for your fingers. You say you want more money for a trip to Vegas. I have no confidence that you'll come back to see us now. She was smarter than this, my only interests Are cigars and interests You're good for it is all you say But you ain't won nothing since that horse lucky day And so you see my dilemma now And the need for collateral before you leave town I keep one for my Romy Owen Juliet size The other for your fingers You say you want more money for a trip to Vegas I have no confidence that you'll come back to see us. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm beginning to get impatient here. As you compromise my wealth, yeah. Since you don't use those fingers for counting cash. Pretty good night, loved it. Uh, 
Ah, I love playing music. It is the best. Be sure to stick around because who knows what's coming next. Subscribe. Thank you for watching today, and I'll see you around. Peace. Let's go out on the lake in our inflatable sofa and watch the world end. I got some beer and trail mix to hold us over till it's safe to start again. But darling, don't shed a tear. The apocalypse is here, but we can still roll over.